Hey guys, today we are going to start looking at exponent laws. We are going to look at the multiplication laws today. We're going to answer the question, how do I simplify expressions involving the product rule and the power rule? So let's look at where the product rule comes from with this example before we summarize it. So what I'm going to do, 3x squared times 2x to the fourth, I'm going to write that out in expanded form. So 3x squared is the same thing as 3 times x times x. There's a 3 and then there's 2x's there. And then 2x to the fourth is the same thing as 2 times 4x's. So x times x times x times x. Now if I want to write this more condensely, I'm going to combine or multiply the alike things. So 3 times 2 is 6 and then x times x times x times x times x times x, there are six x's. So that will become x to the sixth. So what we ended up doing was three times two, and that's how we got six. And then we went from x squared times x to the fourth to x to the sixth. So we added the exponents. So that is the product rule. We just multiply the coefficients we still do the multiplication with the coefficients. And then the way that we multiply the exponents or multiply with the exponents is by adding the exponents. So for product rule, if you have coefficients, just multiply your coefficients and then you will add the exponents. So let's look at number one. We're just dealing with variables here and I have x to the sixth times x to the eighth. So according to the product rule, I can do x to the sixth plus eight and x to the 6 plus 8 is x to the 14th. If we wrote this out in expanded form, there would be 14 x's, but we don't need to do that because we know the product rule. We just add the exponents. Okay, let's look at number 2. So I have 4 times 3. I'm going to multiply those coefficients, and 4 times 3 is 12. And then I'm going to have x to the third times x to the sixth, which will be x to the three plus six, which is x to the ninth. So 12x to the ninth is the final answer there. All right, number three, you might not think I have a coefficient with this x, but we always have an invisible coefficient if we don't see one of one. So I need to do negative one times 18. And negative one times 18 is negative 18. And then x times x squared, there's an invisible exponent there too. There's one x there, so it's going to be x to the 1 plus 2, which is x to the 3rd. So negative 18x to the 3rd is the final answer there. Okay, number four, we have a longer problem. We are just going to multiply the alike things. So let's start with the coefficients. So negative 7 times negative 4 is 28. And then a to the 9th times a to the 10th would be a to the 9 plus 10, which is a to the 19th. And then b to the 3rd times b to the 12th would be b to the 3 plus 12, which is b to the 15th. So the final answer here is 28 a to the 19th, b to the 15th. Okay, number five, a longer problem. Again, we just want to multiply the alike things. So let's start with the coefficients. Two times three is six, and six times negative five is negative 30. And then x times x to the third times x to the sixth. That is really one x there, so that's x to the one. So this is going to be x to the one plus three plus 6. 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 6 is 10, so this simplifies to negative 30x to the 10th. And number 6. So same thing, I'm just going to multiply the alike parts. So negative 1 half is a number, I'm going to multiply it with the other number, negative 10. So negative 1 half times negative 10 is positive 5. And then x times x to the fourth, that would really be x to the one plus four, which is x to the five. And then y squared times y would really be y to the two plus one, which is y to the third. So five x to the fifth 
y to the third is the final answer there. So that is the product rule. If we are multiplying the same bases, then I can just add their exponents together. Now let's look at another multiplication rule, the power rule. So let's write this problem out in expanded form and see if we can come up with the product rule ourselves. So 3x to the third squared really means 3x to the third times itself two times. So we could also write it out like this, 3x to the third times 3x to the third. And now I can just use the product rule that we learned up above. I'm gonna multiply the coefficients, three times three is nine, and then x to the third times x to the third is x to the sixth. So let's see if we can figure out how we went from 9x to the third squared to 9, or 3x to the third squared to 9x to the sixth. So it's pretty obvious to me that we just distributed that 2 to the 3, and 3 squared is 9. And then x to the third to the second became x to the sixth. So when we have a power to a power like that, we multiply the exponents. So that's different with the product rule. With the product rule, we multiplied the bases and we added the exponents. With the power rule, whenever we have a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. Or you could think of it as distributing that exponent out. So for the power rule, we are going to raise the coefficients inside the parentheses to the power outside the parentheses. And then we will multiply the exponents inside the parentheses by the exponent outside the parentheses. So if your exponents are separated by a parentheses, we are going to multiply. So number seven, that is exactly what we're gonna do x to the seventh, y to the fourth, raised to the fifth power, I'm just distributing that fifth power and it's gonna become x to the seven times five and then y to the four times five. x to the seven times five would be x to the 35 and then y to the four times five would be y to the 20th. Okay, number eight. So I need to distribute this exponent here. So two to the fourth means two times two times two times two. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. So my new coefficient is 16. And then a doesn't have an exponent on it. I distribute the four exponent to it so it becomes a to the fourth. And then b to the third to the fourth. Three times four is 12 and then c to the 11th to the fourth becomes c to the 11 times four or 44. Okay, number nine, I need to distribute this two exponent to the expression inside the parentheses. So negative two squared means negative two times negative two. Negative times a negative is a positive, so that becomes a positive four. We'll come back to that and talk about that more in a minute. Let's finish this problem though. m to the fourth to the second becomes m to the eighth, and then y to the sixth to the second becomes y to the twelfth. So let's look at this here. This was negative two squared. Make sure if you are doing negative numbers to an exponent in your calculator that you put it in parentheses like that because otherwise your calculator will not do it correctly. Um, whenever we have a negative number and we raise it to an even exponent, we end up getting a negative times a negative, which is a positive. So anytime you have an even exponent, you're always going to get a positive answer because you have a negative times a negative that will happen. Okay, let's look at number 10. So I have a negative three x to the fourth raised to the third power, so I'm gonna distribute out that third power. So I need to do negative three to the third. So it's gonna be negative three times negative three times negative three. 
which would end up being negative 3 times negative 3 is 9, and then 9 times negative 3 is negative 27. We'll come back and talk about that more in a minute, but right now we're going to finish this problem. Negative 27 is the coefficient, and then x to the 4th to the 3rd, 4 times 3 is 12, so it becomes x to the 12th. So there's the answer to this problem. Let's look at that negative number with the exponent a little bit more. We just did negative three to the third. And if you notice this time we had an odd exponent and we ended up with a negative number. That's because if you have a negative base and an odd exponent, you're always gonna end up with a positive times a negative, which results in a negative answer. So if you have a negative base and odd exponent, then you are always going to end up with a negative answer. All right, let's look at 11. So if you notice on 11, the negative four is not inside the parentheses being raised to the sixth power. So the coefficient is going to remain negative four. And I'm just going to distribute the six to the numbers inside the parentheses. So C to the third to the six would be C to the 18th, and then D to the fifth to the six, five times six is 30, so that becomes D to the 30th. Okay, and last one, everything's inside the parentheses, so I'm going to raise it to everything to the second power. So one fourth squared, let's look at that over here a little bit more. I'm just gonna distribute the squared to each part of the fraction, so it's gonna end up being one squared over four squared, which ends up being one over 16. So one fourth squared is one sixteenth, and then x to the fifth to the second would be x to the tenth, y to the sixth to the second would be y to the twelfth, and then y to the z to the seven to the second would be z to the fourteenth.